Pac-Man game ordered. Buy the ESP32 card. We press the button on the joystick to start the game. We use the joystick to steer Pac-Man to earn points and avoid ghosts. Pac-Man touches a ghost. The game is over. The game starts again automatically. The Pac-Man game involves navigating a maze, collecting pellets, avoiding ghosts, and aiming for a high score. The ESP32 handles game logic, display rendering, input controls, and sound effects. When the Pac-Man eats all the points, we win the game. Connecting Project Components The ESP32 card acts as the brain of the game, handling the game logic, processing inputs, updating the display, and controlling sound. We use the joystick to move the snake in the directions, up, down, left and right to eat food. Connect the GND pin of the joystick to the GN. Connect the VCC pin of the joystick to the 3.3. Connect the VRX pin of the joystick. Connect the VRY pin of the joystick to the GPIO 35. Connect the SW pin of the joystick to the GPIO 33 pin of the ESP32 board. 
Buzzer produces a sound when the snake eats food and alerts the player with a distinctive tone when the game is over. Connect the plus pin of the buzzer to the GPIO 23 pin of the ESP32 board. Connect the pin of the buzzer to the GND pin of the ESP32 board. LCD screen renders the game grid, snake, food, and other visuals and provides real-time feedback to the player. Connect the GND pin of the display to the GND pin of the ES. Connect the VCC pin of the display to the 5 volt pin of the ES. Connect the SDA pin of the display to the GPIO 21 pin of the ES. Connect the SCL pin of the display to the GPIO 22 pin of the ES. You will find the necessary program in my website, roboteek.site. And thank you for your attention.